Hi everyone, my name is Jasmine Dancy. Thank you for tuning in to our special Pumpkin Festival edition of the Romulus Community Connection Weekly News Show. We have finally arrived at Festival Week. The festival runs this weekend, September 19th through the 21st, located in downtown Romulus at the Historical Park at 11147 Hunt Street, near the post office. You still have a couple of days to sign up as a vendor for the Pumpkin Festival. Applications and information can be found at RomulusGov.com and click on the pumpkin icon. At that link, you can also find directions and maps for the best places to park when coming down to the festival. Now, the festival vendors officially open at 6 p.m. on Friday, but the unofficial kickoff to the festival is the Romulus Rotary Parade of Lights at 8 p.m. Due to construction on Goddard Road, the parade route is different than what we've seen in the past. The parade will start at Romulus High School, travel down Tobine and Shook, then turn right on Goddard Road in the downtown area, and then head down to the Progressive Hall as usual. Here is Brian Oakley, Chair of the Parade of Lights Planning Committee, with some more details. All right, hello Romulus residents. I've been asked to come in today and talk about the Romulus Rotary Parade of Lights. A little bit of history, the Pumpkin Fest this year will be the 17th annual. That means the parade will be the 16th annual. The way the parade got started was a group of individuals went down to the Christmas night parade in Ida, Michigan. And after the parade, we got together for something to eat and we're all excited about the nighttime parade and decided that we wanted to put on a nighttime parade of our own. And I was a newcomer at the table. It was a, a group of folks that had been going to the parade for two or three years. And we talked and talked and talked, and I listened and listened and listened, and finally I said, well, you know, the city of Romulus have a, has a new festival that could use a parade to start it off. And at that point, the parade, or excuse me, the festival was into the first year. And that's how it started. Uh, the Osborne family from Osborne Concrete, uh, the Bocon family from J.T. Crova Towing, um, some folks named Brad and Diane Traskus, and uh, myself just tagging along with their lead got the parade started. And shortly after that, I think it was about five years after that, uh, they all went on to other interests and the Romulus Rotary Club took over the parade. And I've been the chair ever since. Uh, it's a lot of fun. I think it's a great event for the city and we encourage people to come out. Uh, this year the parade's gonna be on the 19th of September. It's always the Friday, what's that, third Friday of the month. Rules, you have to have lights. It's a light parade. So we want lights that are not normally on your vehicle. Uh, Christmas lights, a lot of folks run generators, uh, a lot of people run little battery pack LED lights. We want lots and lights, the, lots of lights, the more lights the better from both an aesthetic standpoint and safety. Uh, if you're walking, if you've got people that, uh, or kids or, or dogs or horses or bicycles or whatever that aren't motorized, then we ask those to be extremely well lit up for a safety standpoint. And no handouts, no candy, uh, nothing can be ha handed out from the parade itself. Along the parade route, we're not in control of that, but Rotary tries to control uh, the parade entries. It's a safety issue. If you're trying to hand out candy, then you're encouraging kids to come into the street, and it's dark, so we encourage you not to do that. Um, registration and rules, if you want to know more, you can check out Romulus Rotary's Facebook page. We do have a website that is RomulusRotary.com, but right now we're under construction. So go to Facebook. You can pick up your applications there, and if you're not tech savvy and you want to do it the old-fashioned way, stop by the Romulus Chamber office and Bill Crenn will have the paperwork, the applications, the list of rules and everything available. We appreciate the past participation. We're always looking for more entries and you don't have to pre-register. We like it if you do, but you don't have to pre-register. If you want to play it by ear and see how the weather looks on the 19th and show up at the last minute, we'll still stick you in the parade. Um, that's about it. We hope to see you out here on the 19th and be safe. Again, you do not need to pre-register to be in the parade. Just show up at the Romulus High School parking lot entering off of Wayne Road and the Rotary will get you lined up. It is free to enter and you have a chance at cash prizes. If you can't wait until the parade to start off your weekend, there are some other fun activities to attend on your way to the parade. The Romulus VFW Post 9568 is hosting a Tacos and Margarita Night fundraiser on Friday, September 19th. It starts at 5.30 p.m., so this is a great event to come support for dinner before heading to the Parade of Lights. Tacos are only $1.50 each, 
Margarita margaritas are $3 per glass or $7 for a mini pitcher. The VFW Post is located at 39270 here in River Drive. Bingo will be going on all weekend, but does start at 6 p.m. at the Romulus Senior Center located at 36525 Bibbins and benefits the Friends of the Animal Shelter. You might remember the band Heinz Drive from our Sounds in Downtown Summer Series. They also will be playing on Friday starting at 6 p.m. The feature act for the evening is 50 Amp Fuse playing from 8 until 11 p.m. This is a well-known act in the area that covers popular music and is led by an eight-piece band. Throughout the weekend, the Pumpkin Pub Beer Tent will be selling cold, refreshing adult beverages. Friday evening in the pub, the band Rust Belt Revival will play starting at 11 p.m. This band classifies themselves as Rootsy Rock and features former Romulus band teacher Mark Fernandez and Romulus residents and father-daughter duo Randy and Savannah Moffitt. The festival opens on Saturday at 11 a.m., but starting at 8 a.m., you can get a delicious pancake breakfast from Boy Scout Troop 872, which goes until noon. St. Aloysius Church will be hosting a white elephant garage sale from 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. on Saturday. They are located just on the street from the festival, near Neville Street and Osga Road. Saturday of the festival features the Cruise and Car Show. Classic Cars will be out until 4 p.m. This event is sponsored by Romulus Auto Supply, Paul and Kathy Filick, Blue Sky Ice Cream and Hamburgers, and the Chevelle Club of Michigan. Admission into the show is only $10. For more information, please call 734-941-1727. There are free kids games and contests starting at noon, including pumpkin rolling, sack races, sand darts, and a treasure hunt or come see a Taekwondo demonstration at the stage at noon as well. More great music will be played all day Saturday, jazz at 1.30 and classic rock at 2.30. Bingo will be going on again in the Senior Center from 2 p.m. until 11 p.m. And for all you grown-ups out there, there will be a pumpkin chunking contest at 3 p.m. Take your shot at throwing a pumpkin as far as you can for cash prizes. We will be featuring some other bands from our Sounds in Downtown series on Saturday. The Mark Harrington Band will be playing a variety of music at 4.30 and again at 7.30. And the Rusty Wright Band, who played some rock and blues this summer, will play at 5.30. For a dinner idea on Saturday, walk right down Bibbins to the Community United Methodist Church between 5 and 7 p.m. for spaghetti and where children under 5 can eat free. Our final band of the night on Saturday is Main Street Soul at 8.30 p.m. playing rock and soul music. There will be music in the Pumpkin Pub again on Saturday night starting at 10.30 p.m. Dueling Pianos will play requests from the crowd featuring pianist and Romulus resident Julian Lambert. They put on a great show that you don't want to miss. Sunday, the festival doesn't open until noon, but there are some other events again that morning. The Boy Scout Pancake Breakfast starts at 8.30 a.m. and goes until 11. The feature of the festival on Sunday is a tractor and lawn tractor show that opens at 9 a.m. Registration and admission is free for this event and is a great way to ce celebrate Romulus's rural past and present. Tractors will be out on display until the close of the festival at 6 p.m. The Romulus Ministerial Alliance is hosting morning ecumenical services starting at 9.30 a.m featuring a praise band and more. Again on Sunday is St. Aloysius's White Elephant Sale from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. Featured kids games from 12 to 2 p.m. include giant airplane races, marshmallow races, crazy shoe croquet, and a pumpkin pie eating contest. Again, all these contests are free. Come support a local youth band at 12.30 p.m. and then there will be a line dancing demonstration and lesson following at 1.30. Bingo at the Senior Center will be 1 to 7 p.m. on Sunday. And the Pumpkin Pub has an event from 1 to 5 p.m. for $10 per person to sample a variety of craft beers. Come learn a little bit about brewing beer and taste some seasonal and local beers. Rock and Soul Band Nemesis will play from 2 to 5 p.m. They are a horn-driven cover band comprised of musicians from Mus Michigan and Southwest Ontario. They play everything from Tina Turner to Little Big Town to Lady Gaga. 
At 5 p.m. for the closing of the festival, come out to hear the winners of the Parade of Lights and Cutest Baby Contest be announced. Local talent will be featured for the remainder of the festival until 6 p.m. I hope you've enjoyed this full overview of our 17th Pumpkin Festival. This is a great community event and tradition that we would hope you come out to support. We would like to thank we would like to thank the members of the Pumpkin Festival Planning Committee and the Downtown Development Authority for their countless hours and of work and dedication to this event every year. This has been Romulus News You Can Use. I'm Jasmine Dancy, and remember you can stay connected with us all week on RomulusGov.com or check us out on Facebook.com slash City of Romulus. Have a great week, everybody, and can't wait to see you at the festival.